Vastu Shastra Vastu Sastra is a traditional Hindu system of architecture which literally translates to science of architecture. These are texts found on the Indian subcontinent that describe principles of design, layout, measurements, ground preparation, space arrangement and spatial geometry. Vastu Shastras incorporate traditional Hindu and in some cases Buddhist beliefs. The designs are intended to integrate architecture with nature, the relative functions of various parts of the structure, and ancient beliefs utilizing geometric patterns, yantra, symmetry, and directional alignments. Vastu Shastra are the textual part of Vastu Vidya, the latter being the broader knowledge about architecture and design theories from ancient India. Vastu Vidya knowledge is a collection of ideas and concepts, with or without the support of layout diagrams, that are not rigid. Rather, these ideas and concepts are models for the organization of space and form within a building or collection of buildings, based on their functions in relation to each other, their usage and to the overall fabric of the Vastu. Ancient Vastu Shastra principles include those for the design of mandir Hindu temples, and the principles for the design and layout of houses, towns, cities, gardens, roads, water works, shops and other public areas. Terminology The Sanskrit word vastu means a dwelling or house with a corresponding plot of land. The vrddhi, vastu, takes the meaning of the site or foundation of a house, site, ground, building or dwelling place, habitation, homestead, house. The underlying root is vas, to dwell, live, stay, reside. The term shastra may loosely be translated as doctrine teaching vastu sastras literally science of dwelling are ancient sanskrit manuals of architecture these contain vastu vidya literally knowledge of dwelling topic history Proposals tracing potential links of the principles of composition in Vastu Shastra and the Indus Valley Civilization have been made, but Kapila Vatsyayan is reluctant to speculate on such links given the Indus Valley script remains undeciphered. According to Chakrabarti, Vastu Vidya is as old the Vedic period and linked to the ritual architecture. According to Michael W. Meister, the Atharvaveda contains verses with mystic cosmogony which provide a paradigm for cosmic planning, but they did not represent architecture nor a developed practice. Varahamihira's Brihat Samhita dated to the 6th century CE, states Meister, is the first known Indian text that describes something like a vast upurusamandala to plan cities and buildings. The emergence of Vastu Vidya as a specialized field of science is speculated to have occurred significantly before the 1st century CE. Topic. Description There exist many Vastu Sastras on the art of building houses, temples, towns and cities. One such Vastu Sastra is by Thakura Feru, describing where and how temples should be built. By 6th century AD, Sanskrit manuals for constructing palatial temples were in circulation in India. Vastu Sastra manuals included chapters on home construction, town planning, and how efficient villages, towns and kingdoms integrated temples, water bodies and gardens within them to achieve harmony with nature. While it is unclear, states Barnett, as to whether these temple and town planning texts were theoretical studies and if or when they were properly implemented in practice, the manuals suggest that town planning and Hindu temples were conceived as ideals of art and integral part of Hindu social and spiritual life. The Silpa Prakasa of Odisha, authored by Ramachandra Bhattaraka Kaulachara sometime in 9th or 10th century CE, is another Vastu Sastra. Silpa Prakasa describes the geometric principles in every aspect of the temple and symbolism such as 16 emotions of human beings carved as 16 types of female figures. These styles were perfected in Hindu temples prevalent in eastern states of India. Other ancient texts found expand these architectural principles, suggesting that different parts of India developed, invented and added their own interpretations. For example, in Saurastra tradition of temple building found in western states of India, the feminine form, expressions and emotions are depicted in 32 types of Nataka Stri compared to 16 types described in Silpa Prakasa. Silpa Prakasa provides brief introduction to 12 types of Hindu temples. Other texts, such as Pankaratra Prasada Prasadana compiled by Daniel Smith and Silpa Ratnakara compiled by Narmada Sankara provide a more extensive list of Hindu temple types. 
Ancient Sanskrit manuals for temple construction discovered in Rajasthan, in northwestern region of India, include Sutradhara Mandana's Prasadamandana literally, Manual for Planning and Building a Temple with chapters on town building. Manasara Shilpa and Mayamada, texts of South Indian origin, estimated to be in circulation by 5th to 7th century AD, is a guidebook on South Indian Vastu design and construction. Isanasavagarudeva Padati is another Sanskrit text from the 9th century describing the art of building in India in South and Central India. In North India, Brihat Samhita by Varahamahira is the widely cited ancient Sanskrit manual from 6th century describing the design and construction of Nagara style of Hindu temples. These ancient Vastu Sastras often discuss and describe the principles of Hindu temple design, but do not limit themselves to the design of a Hindu temple. They describe the temple as a holistic part of its community, and lay out various principles and a diversity of alternate designs for home, village and city layout along with the temple, gardens, water bodies and nature. <inaudible> Mandala types and properties The central area in all mandala is the Brahmasthana. Mandala, circle circumference, or completion is a concentric diagram having spiritual and ritual significance in both Hinduism and Buddhism. The space occupied by it varies in different mandala, in Pitha 9 and Upapitha 25, it occupies one square module, in Mahaapitha 16, Ugrapitha 36, and Manduka 64, four square modules and in Saint Handila 49 and Paramasayika 81, nine square modules. The Pitha is an amplified Prithvimandala in which, according to some texts, the central space is occupied by earth. The Saint Handila Mandala is used in a concentric manner. The most important mandala is the Manduka, Chandita Mandala of 64 squares and the Paramasayika Mandala of 81 squares. The normal position of the Vastu Purusha head in the northeast, legs in the southwest is as depicted in the Paramasayika Mandala. However, in the Manduka Mandala the Vastu Purusha is depicted with the head facing east and the feet facing west. It is believed that every piece of a land or a building has a soul of its own and that soul is known as Vastu Purusha, a site of any shape can be divided using the pad of vinyasa. Sites are known by the number of squares. They range from 1 by 1 to 32 by 32 1024 square sites. Examples of mandalas with the corresponding names of sites include Sakala one square corresponds to Akapada single divided site Pachaka four squares corresponds to DWI Pada two divided site Pitha nine squares corresponds to Tri Pada three divided site Mahapitha 16 squares corresponds to Chadish Pada four divided site Upapitha 25 squares corresponds to Pancha Pada five divided site Ugrapitha 36 squares corresponds to Shashtha Pada 6 divided site Saint Handila 49 squares corresponds to Sapta Pada 7 divided site Manduka Chandida 64 square corresponds to Ashta Pada 8 divided site Paramasayika 81 squares corresponds to Nava Pada 9 divided site Asana 100 squares corresponds to Dasa Pada 10 divided site Padormahasan 196 squares corresponds to Chota Pada 14 divided sites Topic Modern adaptations and usage Vastu Sastra represents a body of ancient concepts and knowledge to many modern architects a guideline but not a rigid code The square grid mandala is viewed as a model of organization not as a ground plan the ancient Vastu Sastra texts describe functional relations and adaptable alternate layouts for various rooms or buildings and utilities, but do not mandate a set compulsory architecture. Sachdev and Tillotson state that the mandala is a guideline, and employing the mandala concept of Vastu Sastra does not mean every room or building has to be square. The basic theme is around core elements of central space, peripheral zones, direction with respect to sunlight, and relative functions of the spaces. The Pink City Jaipur in Rajasthan was master planned by Rajput King Jai Singh and built by 1727 CE, in part around Vastu Shilpa Sastra principles. 
Similarly, modern era projects such as the architect Charles Koreas designed Gandhi Smarak Sangrahalaya in Ahmedabad, Vedan Bhavan in Bhopal, and Jawahar Kala Kendra in Jaipur, adapt and apply concepts from the Vastu Shastra Vidya. In the design of Chandigarh city, Le Corbusier incorporated modern architecture theories with those of Vastu Shastra. During the colonial rule period of India, town planning officials of the British Raj did not consider Vastu Vidya, but largely grafted Islamic Mughal era motifs and designs such as domes and arches onto Victorian era style buildings without overall relationship layout. This movement, later known as the Indo-Saracenic style, is found in chaotically laid out, but externally grand structures in the form of currently used major railway stations, harbours, tax collection buildings, and other colonial offices in South Asia. Vastu Sastra Vidya was ignored, during colonial era construction, for several reasons. These texts were viewed by 19th and early 20th century architects as archaic, the literature was inaccessible being in an ancient language not spoken or read by the architects, and the ancient texts assumed space to be readily available. In contrast, public projects in the colonial era were forced into crowded spaces and local layout constraints, and the ancient Vastu Sastra were viewed with prejudice as superstitious and rigid about a square grid or traditional materials of construction. Sachdev and Tillotson state that these prejudices were flawed, as a scholarly and complete reading of the Vastu Sastra literature amply suggests the architect is free to adapt the ideas to new materials of construction, local layout constraints and into a non-square space. The design and completion of a new city of Jaipur in early 1700s based on Vastu Sastra texts, well before any colonial era public projects, was one of many proofs. Other examples include modern public projects designed by Charles Correa such as Jawahar Kala Kendra in Jaipur, and Gandhi Ashram in Ahmedabad. Vastu Shastra remedies have also been applied by Kushdeep Bansal in 1997 to the Parliament Complex of India, when he contended that the library being built next to the building is responsible for political instability in the country. German architect Klaus Peter Gast states that the principles of Vastu Shastras is witnessing a major revival and wide usage in the planning and design of individual homes, residential complexes, commercial and industrial campuses, and major public projects in India, along with the use of ancient iconography and mythological artwork incorporated into the Vastu Vidya architectures. Topic: <inaudible> Vastu and superstition. The use of Vastu Shastra and Vastu consultants in modern home and public projects is controversial. Some architects, particularly during India's colonial era, considered it arcane and superstitious. Other architects state that critics have not read the texts and that most of the text is about flexible design guidelines for space, sunlight, flow, and function. Vastu Shastra is considered as pseudoscience by rationalists like Narendra Nayak of Federation of Indian Rationalist Associations. Scientist and astronomer Jayant Narlikar considers Vastu Shastra as pseudoscience and writes that Vastu does not have any logical connection to the environment. One of the examples cited by Narlikar arguing the absence of logical connection is the Vastu rule. Sites shaped like a triangle will lead to government harassment. Parallelogram can lead to quarrels in the family. Narlikar notes that sometimes the building plans are changed and what has already been built is demolished to accommodate for Vastu rules. Regarding superstitious beliefs in Vastu, science writer Mira Nanda cites the case of N. T. Rama Rao, the ex-chief minister of Andhra Pradesh, who sought the help of Vastu consultants for his political problems. Rama Rao was advised that his problems would be solved if he entered his office from an east-facing gate. Accordingly, a slum on the east-facing side of his office was ordered to be demolished, to make way for his car's entrance. The knowledge of Vastu consultants is questioned by Pramid Kumar citation required. Ask the Vasta folks if they know civil engineering or architecture or the local government rules on construction or minimum standards of construction to advise people on buildings. They will get into a barrage of ancient texts and science. That smack of the pseudo-science of astrology. Ask them where they were before the construction boom and if they will go to slum tenements to advise people or advise on low-cost community housing. You draw a blank. Topic: <inaudible> Sanskrit treatises on architecture. 
Of the numerous Sanskrit treatises mentioned in ancient Indian literature, some have been translated in English. Many Agamas, Puranas and Hindu scriptures include chapters on architecture of temples, homes, villages, towns, fortifications, streets, shop layout, public wells, public bathing, public halls, gardens, river fronts among other things. In some cases, the manuscripts are partially lost, some are available only in Tibetan, Nepalese or South Indian languages, while in others original Sanskrit manuscripts are available in different parts of India. Some treatises, or books with chapters on Vasta Shastra include Topic. See also Aranmula Kataram Feng Shui Kanipayar Shankaran Nambudaripad Maharishi Vastu Architecture Shilpa Shastras Tajil Muluk Topic References Topic Further reading Acharya P K 1946, An Encyclopedia of Hindu Architecture, Oxford University Press, Terminology of Ancient Architecture Acharya P. K. Bibliography of Ancient Sanskrit Treatises on Architecture and Arts, in An Encyclopedia of Hindu Architecture, Oxford University Press, pages 615–659 bb. Dutt, 1925, Town Planning in Ancient India at Google Books IVVRF, 2000, Journal of International Conference Vastu Panorama 2000, Main Theme, The Study of Energetic Dimension of Man and Behavior of Environment IVVRF, 2004, Journal of International Conference Vastu Panorama 2004 IVVRF, 2008, Journal of International Conference Vastu Panorama 2008, Main Theme, Save Mother Earth and Life A Vastu Mission IVVRF, 2012, Journal of International Conference Vastu Panorama 2012, Main Theme Vastu Dynamics for Global Well-Being v. Chakraborty, Indian Architectural Theory, Contemporary Uses of Vastu Vidya at Google Books Arya, Rohit Vasta, The Indian Art of Placement, Design and Decorate Homes to Reflect Eternal Spiritual Principles Inner Traditions, Bear and Company, 2000, ISBN 0-89281-885-9. Important concepts of Vastu Shastra Traditional Indian Architecture Vastu, Transcendental Home Design in Harmony with Nature, Sherry Silverman Prabhu, Balagopal, T. S. and Akiuthan, A. A. Text Book of Vastuvidya, Vastuvidyapradisthanam, Cori Code, New Edition, 2011. Prabhu, Balagopal, T. S. and Akiuthan, A. Design in Vastuvidya, Vastuvidyapradisthanam, Kajako Prabhu, Balagopal, T. S. Vastudyadarshanam, Malayalam, Vastuvidyapradisthanam, Kori Code. Prabhu, Balagopal, T. S. and Akiuthan, A. Manusyalaya Kandrika and Engineering Commentary, Vastuvidyapradisthanam, Kori Code, New Edition, 2011. Vastu Silpa Kosha, Encyclopedia of Hindu Temple Architecture and Vastu, S. K. Ramachandara Rao, Delhi, Divine Books, Lala Marari Lal Charya Oriental Series. ISBN 978-93-81218-51-8 Set D. N. Shukla, Vastu Sastra, Hindu Science of Architecture, Munshiram Manorial Publishers, 1993, ISBN 978-81-215-0611-3. B. B. Puri, Applied Vastu Shastra Vaibhavam in Modern Architecture, Vastu Gyan Publication, 1997, ISBN 978 81 900614 4. Vibhuti Chakrabarti, Indian Architectural Theory, Contemporary Uses of Vastu Vidya Routledge, 1998, ISBN 978 0 7007 1113 0. Dr. Puneet Chawala, Vasta Passage to Fortune Amazon.in, 2015, ISBN 8192948218 ISBN 978-8192948218